This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Oh, 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 ah. oh are you all right? Oh, something just pushed me. Momar is back for another late night paranormal adventure at the Wildwood Sanatorium. Things are gonna get wild here tonight. Things already been wild. Already been wild. This place is massive. It is a very, very old sanatorium. We have this place just to ourselves, only us two, and we're gonna be cuddling. <laughs> a little spooning. So here's the thing. This place is full of haunted dolls, full of haunted objects. The whole place is a paranormal hotspot itself. And we're going to be here all night long investigating. And one of the coolest things is what caught my attention about this place. Something that Omar told me about. You want to tell him? Tommy's room. Tommy's room. There is a ghost named Tom here. Just like Tom, my boy, my own ghost. And I'm going to be bringing out my ghost Tom to investigate with us tonight and help us out. Smash like button. Omar's link is going to be down in the description below. You guys can go follow him and watch his video. He's going to be doing a different video than I am in this place. And I'm doing a different video than he's doing. So you guys can watch both the awesome, exciting content here. It's going to be an awesome night. So as you guys can see, this is the Wildwood Sanatorium. It's had a lot of patients come in and out of here. It's had some suicides inside of it. It's had a lot of death inside. And I guarantee you we're gonna capture something paranormal in here. We're, we're, we have to, like there's no way we're gonna come here, spend the night and not capture anything paranormal. It's just a must. Let's go inside and check this place out. This sign alone looks like something you would see in like a cemetery, right? It does look like a cemetery sign. I'm sure, you know she said that she had the Amish make this sign i thought it was a part of the house really from the early 1900s like it looks like it belongs to an old house like this but yeah this was built like maybe just a couple years ago look at this dragon head bro whoa is that like an ashtray or something or maybe it's, <laughs> it's an ass it's a gargoyle i think i dare you to put your face in there no that's an ashtray that's gross <laughs> no thank look, there's you. eyes from the other side <laughs> let's go inside so we do have this place for ourselves like i said before a lot of people have investigated this place look at my camera what Ooh. What the hell? My camera's picking up on that, but you don't, you can't. Yeah, I, the human eye can't see that. The human eye can't like, see that. Whoa. It's definitely a lot more exaggerated on the camera. There's something going on here right now. This place is like a freaking maze. You can literally, if we didn't get a tour, we did get a tour beforehand, but I mean, like if we didn't get that tour, uh, you could easily, we'd probably still get f lost in here. Yeah, honestly, I kind of wish we didn't get a tour because I always like to see everything for the first time. I like the authenticity of it, but we got a lot of good information from we the did. owner. We did, yeah. The owner has owned this place for five, what's her name again? Lori. Lori, she's a really nice person. She's owned this place for five years and she's like slowly restoring it. It was an abandoned place. The place is built probably in like the 1800s. There's even, she's a psychic and she says there might be bodies buried on the property, but this place was also used for healing back in the day. And a lot of people come in here, they're really sick. They would do a lot of different therapies on them. And some people unfortunately committed suicide. This place has changed hands many times over and over. It was some apartment building at one point in time. And like people, what people were like, Scared to so live? when it became an apartment complex or an apartment house, they could not keep tenants in this house. It was that haunted from the hauntings. Jeez. So people would move in, move out. It was constantly exchanging new tenants. Like, so supposedly Tommy was a child of one of the tenants. Yeah, he lived, that lived here. And his bedroom and all his toys are still here. And apparently there's a picture of him upstairs. It's not confirmed that it's actually him, but it could be him. And that's what I want to find out today. Is this Tom my boy, the New York version? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what though? We have to call out Tom my boy. We can't just like come in here and not call him out. Bro, we gotta call We gotta Tom count to three. We gotta count to three. All right. And we gotta say, yo, Tom my boy. Three, two, one. Yo, yo Tom, Tom my boy! boy! We just woke up the neighborhood right now. And all the other spirits inside of this house. All right, see you later, I'm going home. Hello? Wait, how does this work? Hello? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stick your nose right there. Oh. And you blow really hard. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> <you fucking laughs> I gotta wipe that, I gotta wipe that. What are you doing, Mo? I'm just sanitizing the phone. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We left some Mo DNA. Oh, you're gonna get it from Tom, my boy, tonight. Oh man, we, I already left DNA in this place. I was <laughs> obviously you don't put your your nose in there. You're supposed to put your. This is the coolest business card I've ever seen. Okay. What, what is it? Look at that. Looks like a Ouija board. Oh, that's so cool. Alani, psychic medium. Dude, that's so cool. That's awesome. So people that have come through this place have like basically like signed their. 
names and she told us we can sign our names on any not walls but like on the all the door jams over here so pretty cool lots of people have been here there's some people that i recognize as well which is uh, pretty awesome a lot of people have investigated this place and it's weird because we've been around for a long time never between us eight million subscribers why have we never heard about this place you know what i mean it's like a hidden gem so if you guys know locations that we've never filmed that you want us to film in let us know in the comments below don't be shy we'll go there so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. Omar is going to join me on this little tour. And uh, we're just going to look at this place. Basically see what, what's going on. Maybe we'll capture some type of paranormal. I'm not going to use any gear right now. Just, just going to walk through it. This is a bedroom that you could actually sleep in if you come to this place. Um, I don't think I would ever do that. Right? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, there's no door. Like, I, I have to have a door to sleep. Right? Like, I don't know. Somebody could be spying on me. There's creepy dolls everywhere. There's a sock monkey that's apparently haunted in here, which Yo, is... Sock monkey, <laughs> Yo, sock monkey, my boy. So, hey, when I was in here, I forgot to tell you this. I told Lori when we were outside just before she left. But, you know, she's kind of giving us a tour. We did, like, a little interview or whatnot. I felt like I had... You know that feeling when, like, maybe some fleas are jumping on your legs? No, I've never had fleas jump on my legs, but okay. I've never had maybe a tick or something. Like, you could just feel like yeah, bugs. Yeah, like, like a bug. Yeah. It felt like bugs were crawling on my legs in here, bro. And I kept looking. I was, like, doing this, and I was looking, and there was no bugs on At first, I thought it was fleas. But really? I'm like, nah, there's no animals here. Like, how is there fleas? Like, I'm feeling it right now. Really? Bro, I'm feeling it right now. Yeah. Dude. As I'm talking about it. Look, I ain't got no, there's no bugs on my legs. I wonder what like that it, is. It, it's almost like something was pulling on my leg hairs or something. It was really strange. And she said that it's, it's not uncommon, especially in this room, for people to get touched. And a lot of people say, especially like mediums. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! I just felt that on my leg. That's exactly where Whoa. I was standing. I just felt that on my leg, this bro. This is exactly what where the hell? I was standing, bro. Actually? I swear, bro, this is where I was standing. It was right here. I, I felt that on my, on my calf back here. If it almost feel. Oh, I'm feeling it right here. Oh, it's what like, the hell? It's like static electricity. Should we call a priest? Nah. I think it's cool. I don't think it's anything evil, but it's like something here. Maybe there's some sort of vortex. Or some sort of energy that's right here. Most of the things inside of this place are pretty original. Like almost everything is original to this house. It's crazy because there's so much left behind. There's so much that went on here. A lot of TV shows have done stuff and a lot of documentaries have happened here. And this place is a, I mean, come on, there's mirrors here, dude. There's a, definitely a portal in here. Well, during the filming of the TV show Paranormal Lockdown, I, I, I didn't personally watch the show or the episode. Nick Groff is in it, friend of mine, but they went outside and I don't know if they were asking some questions or something. This mirror fell off and they all heard it from outside. Wait, actually? Yeah, bro. Look, that, then they, they still have the mirror here. And, and, and that was in the show? Yeah. Paranormal Lockdown Season 3. Whoa. Sitting here about to announce Season 3. So yeah, it's just, they put that. So this mirror was here. hanging on this. Oh it my God, hanging. dude, I'm getting that. That same, same yeah, feeling, yeah, yeah, right? That that it's right feeling. here. Something. That's so, so weird. Hard. It's like something's brushing you with like, it's weird. There's nothing there. So that same mirror fell off this wall. It's amazing that it just broke into two and not like completely shattered. Yeah. Right? Cause that's a heavy mirror. Yeah, that's the screw that that mirror was hanging on. Whoa. That's pretty cool. But you know what? I believe it because mirrors are portals and they must've pissed something off and it, to, to cause so much negative energy to like, just like implode or explode with a mirror like that. So I'm going to get out of this room because I'm getting itchy all over my legs for some reason. That, that's So you know what they say? Whenever you get touched by a spirit or ghost, even something evil, it sometimes feels like hair. Yeah. Or like, you know, like, you, you know, when like you're- That's girl, how I was feeling yesterday in that one place we were investigating. Remember like I kept, spider webs. I kept getting touched on my hand and it felt like something playing with my hand, my hair on my hands. Well, I'm a pretty hairy boy. That's what it felt like on my legs. I don't know if that's what it felt like for you in there, but like, it just, it felt like my leg hairs were like, I don't know, like I was getting other hair like touching me. Do you think, do you think that could be like a sign? Like they're telling us to like wax our legs or something? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Our legs are pretty hairy. Mo and I are pretty hairy guys. Hey, hey listen, Ali H waxes his legs. I'm just putting that out there, okay? What? He waxes his legs. I don't know how he does it, but I would never do it, okay? I, I, I like wax my I legs. like my hairy legs, okay? I'd shave my legs before I wax them. Yo, you know how painful that must be, though. I don't care. I'm never doing it. No. Why are we talking about leg hairs now? Okay, this is weird. This is getting oh, weird. No. Let's, let's just continue on with the investigation. <laughs> Upstairs is where all the action happens. There's so much to this place. Like you wouldn't, you guys will not believe this. Like we we go to some really unique places, places nobody else goes to, and 
every other place we go to just excites us in a different way. Like, take a look at this for instance. There's an old bike with a doll here, but that's not the most exciting part of this. Check this out, three, two, one, boom. We got Tom's room over here. This is the actual Tommy's room. Tommy lived here at one point when this place wasn't an asylum, or not an asylum, a sanatorium. Tommy lived here when this place wasn't a sanatorium, and a lot of these were his toys left behind. What's the difference between sanatorium and sanitarium? Because I honestly have no idea. Like, I, th I, I thought like a sanatorium was like an asylum. I thought they were all like kind of like the same. Yeah, no, I, supposedly they were for, originally before um, like TB. Like the sanatorium. So least. people were treated for TB in here as well, like tuberculosis. Yeah. If you guys don't know what TB is, it's, it's a lung disease. So check this out, guys. There's a lot of toys left behind from, you know, back in the olden days. Some of them were brought in from, you know, random people that come through here. But look at these, the Mickey, the Mickey Mouse twins over here, this little doll, this old school scooter. And this right here was actually found in a secret door in the attic. This is a cane for a little child. Like here, Omar, yeah. demonstrate how like tiny that cane it's is. It's small. Like it's really small. This is definitely for a little kid. And they believe this was like Tommy's cane. I don't know if this, okay, look. Dude. Just to give you an idea. I don't know how, uh, like maybe, maybe he was just a little bit taller, like about right. Maybe like right here. Yeah, like that's so, that's so creepy that a little kid had to use a cane. You know what I mean? Like there's so much going on in here. There's so much history. There is definitely a lot of excitement here. And oh yeah, there's the photos of the, of the kid. Hey, did you touch that? Behind you, behind you. Oh, I just stopped. I thought I'd just seen that little horsey moving. The horse? Yeah. No, I didn't touch it, man. Okay. No, I'll touch it. Check it out, guys. So they found these photos in the basement. They don't know who it is, but they believe it's Tommy because they've done some readings in here and spirit box sessions, and every time they get the name Tommy. So that's how they've established that this is Tom's room. Um, Tom, my boy, would you like to come out here and like give us something? I'd really appreciate it. This thing here freaks me out though. A little puppet. This little puppet, yeah, exactly. See, I always wanted a little puppet show. Like when I was a kid, like that's so cool. Like, can you actually stick your hand in this? <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I fixed it, I fixed it, okay? Thank you. Thank you, my mouth. Omar broke, a, Omar broke a mouth, I sneezed in a phone. What else could go wrong with this place today? There's so much more to investigate, there's so much more to see. Let's move along to the other part of this house. Um, it looks like there's only two rooms here, but trust me, it, this place is like a maze. It just keeps going and going and going. So we're gonna go through here. And this is a really scary part. We actually walked in through here earlier. There's like this really, really cool pen. What is that? Wait, wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, that's moving. Look, it keeps that's, moving. And that's Tommy's room. Tom, are you doing this? Holy shit, we just got that on camera. We just got that on fucking camera, bro. Nah, bro, there's gotta be some kind of explanation for that, though. Is it battery powered? No, this isn't one of those battery toys. That has to be run off batteries. No, there's no, dude, it's an old school toy. First of all, look how old this is. This is what was making the noise. What did that sound like? I, I heard something very vague. It was like a whistle. Yeah, that's what I heard. There's a, a weird pendulum room where seances have been done and that started freaking moving. That's really Why interesting. You mention seance? Yeah. Hey Tom, are you here? Look bro, that pendulum is moving. No way. Yeah. Is it? Get some light on that. Oh, it is moving. Yeah, it's very, very slight. Very, very slight. Oh, it's moving more now. Yeah. Look at the marks it's made. That's been moving all night. Yeah, look. From side to side. Should we like, here, let's, this feather is to straighten the sand. I think. Oh, that's what it's for? I think so. Makes sense. Let's, uh, let's. Yeah, let's hold it still so it doesn't move. Okay, let's hold it still and flatten out the sand. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna flatten out the sand and we'll see if any markings have happened here today. Nice Can you go. spell something out for us? 
I don't know how to. Just let straight. go. Yeah, just let go. There you go. So that thing spelled mom one time. And you can see right here, actually, I have a picture of it. And there was a guy that liked to spend a lot of time up here. This was his favorite room. His That's him right there in the photo. <gasps> oh my God. You didn't touch that? No. I didn't no. touch it. I didn't touch that. Look, it's making circles. Is that you, Jeremy? Holy shit. So, Jeremy, God rest his soul, he, he took his own life. And this was one of his favorite rooms. And a lot of people say that he visits this room a lot because it was his favorite. And that's why he drew mom there. So they reached out to Jeremy's mom and asked him, asked her, you know, hey, like, do you, do you know, like, if this is how Jeremy writes? And she actually dug up a Mother's Day card that said mom and they have it here framed and you can see that the m's have definitely a slight similarity to how this m those m's were were written there so they do believe that this bro something's being spelled out yeah look at the pattern what that's crazy man that thing should not be moving there's no way it's not like a get what bro i don't know i just got touched on my it felt like that hair the hair, that like the hair like feeling on your neck well keep in mind this is a seance room seances were done here and wasn't jeremy always like wearing that lab coat didn't she say like jeremy would come through here and investigate and wear a lab coat he was into science or was that somebody else I, maybe it was his brother Something like i think that. it was his brother that wore the lab coat okay well so far we've gotten some good stuff we've gotten that weird doll thing in the room and this pendulum it's still moving right now now it's moving the opposite direction now. Would you like your fortune told? Look, there's another pendulum here. How about we sit down and you can tell me my fortune? Okay, I'm gonna tell you your fortune. I've never read somebody's fortune before. We should probably light oh. some candles. Ow, oh, my head hurts. What? You know what, mine does too, bro. Like right right back here. Uh, me, is that like on my eyeball and like back here on the right side? Yeah, like like right here? It, back. it was right when I sat down. Oh, dude, me too. When I sat down, I, I feel like it's like on fire right now. She did say like things like this happen here, yeah. but no one's actually been like killed here because of like paranormal. Like it's safe to investigate, I think. But knowing us, and I did call out Tom, my boy, that piece of shit. So, and he's he's, he's making a, he's coming. Hey 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 hey! Pendulum, pendulum is moving. Whoa! Yeah, it is moving. <gasps> what the? F Bro, it's moving a lot. Huh? I'm gonna try to not touch the table. I mean, maybe no. It it is moving. Yeah, that's moving a lot, bro. What's doing that? Can you make it go in a circle rather than side to side? Whoa, what, what the, the hell? You're not shaking the table or nothing? Bro, bro, bro. Completely not physically touching the table whatsoever. Well, something's clearly shaking this damn thing. And the other one's moving too. Yeah, the other one is moving. I've never done this with a, a crystal ball before. What do we do? Like, I, th oh. I think we should ask Siri. This thing is heavy. Hey Siri, how do you work a crystal ball? It is generally associated with the performance of clairvoyance and screeing in particular. Hmm. So can I see my future in it? Orb, my God. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Legit an orb just floating right in front of us right here. I don't know if the, it, it's too high, the camera. It's it's a, there's a orb like literally floating up in the air. Is that an orb? Can you catch it? That's not a bug, I thought it was a bug. I mean, it Dude, could the, have been. the pendulum is moving. The pendulum is freaking moving. You just stop. <gasps> Bro, it You're... says mom. Wait, that doesn't say mom. It says mom. No, it doesn't say it mom. It says Tom. Oh. No. No. You're kidding me. No way. No way. No way. It says that, that just legit just moved right in front of you. Tom? Dude, there's no way. Dude, look at it. It says Tom. It, that, that's a Tom, not a mom, right? That's I thought Tom. it said mom at first. Yeah, because it wrote mom here, but that's a Tom. Maybe, maybe from the beginning, it wasn't supposed to say mom. It was supposed to say Tom. For Tommy? Yeah. Holy shit. 
I don't know, man. That that's that like says, what, that says mom. Bro. But that's a lot of a like that's a lot of coincidences, right? You know? Oh, what the? That's heck? a tom. That's a tom. If and I look how it's all connected. It was one hundred percent. Like it was. Like I'm trying not to mess it up. You you can't even draw it because you'll just cut a line through it. You could you can't even draw it if you want to. You're, you're like you'll, you'll cut a line through it. You know I what I mean? Messed it yeah, up. but but even so, that's actually good that you messed it up. Because how is that drawn? If when that moves, it, it just screws up everything up. Can you put Tom again or Mom? Oh, look at the flashlight. There's some energy source that keeps flickering the flashlight. Okay, now it's not doing it. I'd rather leave <gasps> that to the professionals. What? I didn't even say anything to it. How did Siri just start talking? I didn't even say anything to it. It's probably saying that what we got ourselves into, yeah. we should probably leave to professionals. Oh my god, you're right. So there is another like room over here with uh, some raccoons apparently. Look at that, there's a raccoon here. You think that's real? Yeah. Oh, it is. Look, it even shows the bullet that killed the raccoon. That's so sad. That's a, a, a cracked out looking raccoon though. Look at this thing. Hold on, let me get some light on it. You know who they're related to? Because I always thought maybe they were maybe related to cats or dogs. What do you think a raccoon's related to? Uh, a wolf? No. No, I don't know. A bear. A bear? A bear, No, nah, there's they're, no way. I swear, they're like, look how they stand up and everything, just like bears do. Uh, do you ever see a cat or a dog stand up? I mean, some dogs Yeah, I've seen cats up. and dogs stand up, bro. But no, like your bears... Theory, your theory is flawed. So. No, I'm serious. No, 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 your theory is they're flawed. They're distant cousins. <laughs> look it up, man. Let me know in the comments below. Is Omar bullshitting me or no, what? No, I'm, I'm being for real. I think he's bullshitting me. They're kind of, they're like miniature bears. Okay, well, this is a chupacabra right yeah, here. Is. This is a chupacabra. A scary one. What's oh, Paul? This is what they call the trigger room what the hell everything in here is a trigger item like meant to basically communicate with a spirit like there's a ball here and and i think if you touch it wait so you're saying that <laughs> there you go what mo's trying to say is is this will trigger your balls this will trigger your balls <laughs> and if you don't have balls then it'll trigger your <laughs> so anyways, this is the trigger room where there's a lot of objects and a lot of creepy things and I don't know what this is, but it's supposed to make noises. What the is hell? it Jesus? Oh, it farted or something. No, that was me. That was you? Yeah. What an odd toy. I've never seen anything like it anywhere. No, that was me. That was that was Omar. <laughs> we we both had uh, we had some Applebee's. Applebee's, yeah. But the healthy healthy side. But it, it wasn't that good though. It was pretty terrible to be honest. But the lady that owns this place, Lauren, she said that these toys have been here for years and years. I heard something too. I seen something just now. I seen something peeking over around the freaking door. There was something watching us. There was actually something watching us just now. Dude, I just heard like running up and down the stairs or something. Are there stairs nearby? I don't know. Oh yeah, I think they're here. Well, these are the stairs that go down to the basement. Oh, okay. That's what those are. Oh, there's stairs here. You must have heard something go up the stairs. Yes, and bro, I'm telling you. But Lauren told us that she's heard and seen things, shadow figures on the staircase. She did, all over this house though. I don't even want to go in there, that looks so creepy. What? Come on, you can do it. Maybe you can go up there for your video. I don't want to go up there. We're gonna go up there. <laughs> We're gonna go up there. Is there anything in here that wants to communicate with us? Like give us a sign that you're existing in here? Besides like footsteps? And I, and I, I honestly, honestly God dude, I seen something running through there. It was like pe it was like peeking through the door, and I seen like a, a, a shadow figure. This place is known for its shadow figure activity. Look at that clown over there. There's a creepy clown. There's all these other dolls here. There's that thing there, and like the baby chair. There's so many objects here. Didn't she say that sometimes she'll come like the next day, and it'll be like a new doll here? Like groups will oftentimes like bring dolls. People do bring dolls. And you know what I just realized? There's another sock monkey in here. And you know my history with sock monkeys. A sock monkey's gotta die. So we're gonna make our way upstairs right now. 
had no idea coming here was there was gonna be like three floors plus there's a basement we haven't even explored yet. It's a lot bigger than it looks from the outside, that's for sure. That's what she said. <laughs> Whoa, this is creepy. Why don't I remember this? this I don't is, think we came up here. I don't think we did. I think we thought we did, but we actually didn't. No, no, we didn't come up here. This is interesting. Look at this. There's like an old radio. There's a furnace. That's an old school furnace right there. Oh, check out that old wheelchair. I ain't never seen anything like that before. That is unique. That's all. You know what that is? That's a lawn wheelchair. Like a oh. lawn chair. Wow. Uh, I, I literally just made that up. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it is a wheelchair. That's so cool. Damn. Like if you investigate, you can actually sleep here. Imagine you're sleeping here, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you're like, you know, how are you gonna have how, how are you gonna have privacy? I don't think you're. You know what I what I envision? You're just like changing. This is the scary thing I envision if I'm sleeping. Oh, nipple! We got nipples. <laughs> That's pretty damn scary. Pretty damn scary. <laughs> Guys, make sure to screenshot that and tag Omar everywhere. No, don't do it. <laughs> Cut that part out of the video. What is this room over here? Look at this. Whoa, someone had fun with pain in here. And look, dude, there's another wheelchair and a chest. And I, I guarantee you that chest has like some weird paranormal attachment to it. All I keep hearing is floors creaking behind me. It's like something is moving and like falling, it's kind of right. That or maybe just the floorboards are moving because we're walking on them, but I don't know. It just but like, does sound like it. After we walk on them, and plus I have a major headache right now, like major, a really big migraine. And that's always an indicator that there is a presence of something. You want to know the presence I feel in here? Omar's gas literally just brought us into an infirmary over here. Look at this. Whoa. Bro, what kind of wine ball is that? Oh, oh, oh are you all right? Oh.